Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, at this time, I would yield two minutes to the ranking member of the Science Committee, the gentleman from Oklahoma, Mr. Lucas. Gentleman from Oklahoma, Mr. Lucas is recognized for two minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise not only in opposition to this bill, but to the entire process of writing it. We're in the middle of a pandemic, the likes of which we haven't seen for over a century. If there was ever a time for Congress to set aside partisanship and work together to create thoughtful legislation, it's now. And yet here we are, debating a $1.5 trillion Green New Deal wish list instead of a smart infrastructure bill. That's a problem because we need solid infrastructure to transport goods and materials to stay economically competitive. China's listed transportation R&D is one of the target areas to surpass the U.S. We're letting them take the lead. That's not, that's what happens when you draft legislation without consulting a minority or even the committees of jurisdiction over a bill. The Science Committee worked together to produce a bipartisan research title, but it was never even considered as a part of this legislation. Furthermore, provisions relating to aviation R&D and space were airdropped into the package without consulting us. This process has shut members out of both parties. It's no wonder this bill is flawed. What's more, when combined with the last bill, Democrats propose a $4.5 trillion partisan spending, yet they haven't addressed one single area of the most important things that we need to do to fight, to fight COVID-19 and fuel America's economic growth, investing in scientific research. I've introduced a bill to double spending on basic research and keep us at the forefront of scientific development. I've also co-sponsored the Bipartisan RISE Act to restart American research. Taken together, these bills will turn the engine of American research back on and fuel a long-term plan for our success. That's the kind of legislation we should be considering today, bipartisan bills that provide immediate relief and long-term strategy. This is a missed opportunity and no way to run a railroad. Our country needs smart policies, not empty performances right now. I urge my colleagues to vote against this bill so we can go back to the drawing board and do it right. Americans deserve no less. You'll back the balance of my time. Chairman,